Hey everyone, this is David Wallerman with my friend Rich from Hughes and Kepner. Hi. We are at uh, GitCon 2017 and super excited to be here. Thank you for bringing your amps. Yeah, thanks for coming and playing them. Yeah, I, I actually used this yesterday, so this is not a first time. Um, used this with a video with Tom, Tom Quayle, and it sounded great, so I thought we'd, do a, we'd talk about it and, and see what's new, what, what it does. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the Grandmeister Deluxe 40. Exactly, yeah. And it's blue, which I love. Mm -hmm. It looks really nice, and it sounds great too, as, you, as you'll see. Um, the way we have set it, this up is we're going direct out of the amp. Yes, we're using the Redbox DI Yep. on the back of there. Yep. And there are two settings um, that we can use, vintage and modern. Is that correct? Yes, you, okay. can, you can kind of choose the cap sizes there. There's a vintage and a modern, yep. a small and a large. You can also okay. go between mic and line level if you need to, and you can also turn on and off the cab emulation, okay. which is good for recording and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. So you can use your own like IRs and stuff. Exactly. If you want yeah. To. Okay. Yeah. If you're recording and you just want to feed kind of the the, the rich kind of tube tone straight into your um, your workstation or whatever, yeah. and then play with I don't know mic placement or cab sims or whatever you want. Yeah. Or even do reamping, then that's perfect for that. Yeah. And that's yeah. that's really what I like because I come from for convenience for from the modeler world, but I love also the ability to use all the dynamics that a real tube amp would have. Yeah, yeah. Um, so r right now we are using this in kind of a home studio setting because of the direct out, yeah. but it can be used as a traditional amp too, of course, through a, a cab. Um, but yeah, all the sounds you're gonna hear uh, today are exactly the sounds that you can get if you have this because we're going straight out of the box. Exactly, yeah. Um, four channels on this. Uh, let, let's just start with the clean. Let's just play a little bit and um, things come up, things will come up. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so I think we're on the clean channel right now. Um, the cool thing with, with this amp, I think, um, it, it's easy to use. It's not as confusing as some of the, you know, newer technology, um, but Basically, there are two lines. There's the, the lower line, that's for your basic amp controls, um, treble, mids, like all the EQ stuff, volume gain, anything you'd expect from traditional amp. Mm -hmm. uh, reverb, reverb also. And this is built kind of like a, would you say like a spring reverb? Yeah, time? a digital spring reverb, yeah. yeah. And we're about halfway right now. But the interesting thing is that on the top we have, we're activating the, the digital stuff, which is all the effects. Exactly, this is full yeah. tube, but on top we have the digital stuff. Exactly, yeah, it, kind of, it mixes those two worlds. So it's kind of a, a full tube amp with kind of four tube amp channels that you would yeah. expect from clean through to ultra, mm -hmm. but it also has kind of some built-in features that you would associate with digital modeling and stuff like that. Yeah. And actually mm -hmm. these knobs, they all have double functions. So mm -hmm. like, as David said, as you look at it like this, when you're in the standard mode, you've got your reverb, you've got your treble, mid, and bass for your EQs, you've got a volume for the channel that you're on, and again, control. What you then need to do, just to get into the second setting where you can adjust the effects, is just press this button here, effect access, mm -hmm. that'll start to flash, and then you're controlling your delay times, etc. You can bring in your modulation effects, so that's uh, fl uh, flanger, mm -hmm. phaser, chorus, tremolo, okay. and your reverb as well. Okay. So that's how that works. Yeah. Okay. So right now, and I, and I forgot to mention, we'll talk more about this, but there's a, a foot switch that is hooked to the amp. Yes. Right now we are in, is it stomp box mode? We or are, yes. Mode? Okay. It's the foot switch that we make is a, a MIDI controller called the FSM432, which comes with two different modes, stomp box and preset mode. When it's in stomp box mode, the amp kind of functions like a, a four channel tube amp. So you've Can got your... have some kind of... Um, rip, rip, rip. Yeah. Where, there we go, okay. <laughs> yeah, when you're in the stomp box mode, as you can see, SB here, you've got access to your four channels. Yep. You can bring in your modulation effects, your delay, and engage the boost. Each okay. channel has a boost, which yep. just kicks everything up to 11 or whatever. Yep. And when you switch over to the preset mode... Yep, which and is that's just in the back, little, there's a little switch here. Up there. Right there. That's where things get really interesting, because everything is controlled by a MIDI. Mm -hmm. You have... 32 banks of four okay 
patches, so you've got in total up to 128 different sounds that you can make. Yeah. You can just uh, you can save the settings of every single knob on this amp. Can we just get the front panel of the amp back? Cool. You can save e the settings of every single knob on this, mm -hmm. apart from the master volume control over here. So even the presence, yep. the resonance controls can be saved. How much gain you've got can be saved. Your mm -hmm. EQ settings can be saved, and it's all analog as well. Yeah. So so if you're like in a if you just play clean tones, your man just cleans, you can have like four presets of just cleans on your thing yeah. instead of switching channels. Exactly, yeah. Really nice. I know a few guys who actually they play in covers bands and stuff like mm -hmm. that, and they might have a 30 song set. Yep. And what they actually do is they go through and they create a bank for each song. Mm -hmm. So they've got like, if they have one song where they've got a clean sound, a crunch sound, and a lead solo sound, then yeah. they've got on bank one there, they've got those three patches. Mm -hmm. When they go to the next song, they move to the next bank of four, and they've then got up to four sounds that they can use on that song. So you can use it like that, or yep. however you want, in fact. Okay. So right now, if I go through my four, my four channels here, I'll have the same effect, but different channel. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so this is our clean. Here's the second channel, kind of a crunch type of thing. play something and you can lower the gain a little bit just to see the different yeah. and then let's bring it back up see how far we can go for a great lead tone too. Yeah, you, you can get the clean to do that and you mm -hmm. could give it even more of a kick by engaging the boost if you wanted to. Which, yeah. Which you can either do here or by the switch over on the right there. Yeah, let's the try switch. that. So yeah, you were telling me every channel has, uh, you can enable the boost for every channel. You can. And you, you guys call it an intelligent An intelligent boost? stomp boost, yeah. we call it. We like to give everything a catchy, yeah. weird little name. Don't <laughs> hey, worry, I'm, yeah. I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, so. and basically what it does is, it, yeah, it kicks you up Mm -hmm. A notch, whatever you're doing, it sends you up to 11, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and yeah. Based on what your sound is, if you've mm -hmm. got just kind of a flat, clean rhythm sound, it'll just kick you up, it'll give you a clean boost. Yeah. If you're already on a pretty kind of saturated gain tone, mm -hmm. you'll go up a whole lot more. Yeah. It's more noticeable the more kind of high gain you've got, the more saturation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's try this. So, uh, boost is not engaged right now. <laughs> without and here it is that's great what I'll just do now is I'll just I'll whack the game down let's put the game at 12 o'clock mm -hmm. do the same thing again and let's see if we notice the difference and I'll bring it in now It's much more noticeable, yeah, with yeah, the gain, because yeah. we were all the way off with the gain already. Yeah, and that's kind of that's the intelligence nature of it, I guess. It just it yeah. worked. It knew what exactly what you were doing, and it just thought, yeah, David, mm -hmm. David needs this boost. Right yes, now. yes. And they did exactly that. Yeah. It's 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 very musical to me. It's yeah. it feels very natural, very very musical. <laughs> And that's the cool, that really impressive that it's direct, but you still have all the nuances that you would have with the, with the tube amp, which it sure. is a tube amp. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Which makes sense. Yeah. Um, great, let's move on to channel three. Which is the lead channel. Okay. Yep. <laughs> So this is an interesting thing. Maybe we can get it a little bit into the mm. knowing where our gain is, because right now um, we're at um, 
uh, 12 o'clock? Yeah. Or, no, 6. We're, yeah. we're in the, the knob is in the middle. Yeah, the knob is physically in the middle, but that's mm -hmm. the thing with the Grandmeister, because, you know, when you change stuff on the foot switch, obviously the amp doesn't physically yeah. Yeah. turn with you. Mm -hmm. So what you would need to do, in this case, to find out where the gain is, mm -hmm. can we get, like, even more of a close-up on the front of the amp? Would that be all right? Nice. That'll do. That's, That's nice. great. Thank you. Yeah, so if you want to find out on the amp itself exactly what the setting is, just twist the control in question and take a look over at this store button here. Pretty soon. It's going to there do that. Go. And when it flashes, you know exactly where you are. So we weren't at 12 o'clock. We were pretty close. We were about mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock on it. So if I play now, you shouldn't hear much difference. <laughs> Okay, uh, before we move on to the fourth channel, let's um, let's just scope out the the, the game that we have on this yeah. channel. Okay, cool. I'll just take. In terms of kind of lead sound, soloing, you can go from 80s to 90s to yeah. 40s, to pretty much everything. You mm -hmm. can cover a wide range of ground with this channel. Yep. Yeah. So we covered uh, Clean, Crunch, this was the lead channel. Yes. And what is the fourth one called? The fourth channel is the Ultra Channel. Okay. Which you have to say in that tone of voice. <laughs> Let's yeah. go in. The Ultra. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's try this. <laughs> Tell me the, the idea behind the Ultra channel. The Ultra channel is the metal channel. Okay. It's the channel that we kind of conceived. It's, it's unique to Grandmeister. Mm -hmm. um, and it has, um, it has basically as much gain as you could need for any kind of modern metal style. Yeah. Okay. If you're chugging away that kind of thing down low on the fretboard in mm -hmm. drum tunings and stuff like that, it's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Um, great. Yeah, let's, let's just explore a little bit this one. Not much of a metal player, <laughs> but it sounds good, and I can tell there's a lot of lot of gain. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think there's many players who can't find the yeah. amount of gain that they need on this amp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So we're hearing something. I don't know if it's the antler, maybe something else, but it makes me think that we should talk about the noise gate. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There is also a built-in noise gate on the mm -hmm. back of the amp here. At the moment, we've got it kind of on the a medium setting, but it goes from hard to soft. I'll just dial it up to hard. Okay. Do I need to enable this right here? There yeah, go. there you go. Did you hear and that? It's gone. That was perfect. And bam, it's gone. Yeah. I haven't seen many amps with um, a noise gate that is accessible with just the click of a button like that. I think it's really convenient. Yeah, no, it's convenient. a cool feature, and you can kind of, when we go into the preset mode, kind mm -hmm. of the MIDI mode where you build your own exact sounds, you can. Yeah. You can program the noise gate to have it either on or off for each preset. Okay. Because sometimes you want that. Yeah. You might want to use the mm -hmm. sound to your advantage yeah. to build it into your thing. If you're chugging, for example, mm -hmm. on the Ultra Channel, you might not want it for cleaner stuff, and you can just then switch it off. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah. Awesome. So now I, I switch back to the clean here. Um, in Stompbox mode, if I switch back to clean, is this always going to be enabled? Yeah. That's noise gate. Okay. And that's 
the fact that the the, dig, the digital aspect of it, where you can really store your preset with the noise gate without, um, will allow you to create your tones with multiple different guitarists, since you know saying all the coils are going to react yeah. differently and. So that's really a, a cool use. Like I've got a bunch of guitars that I use depending on the project. And yeah. That's that I like that. That's, yeah. That's great. Uh, what else do we have? Well, we have a traditional effects loop. Um, we can enable it here or disable it. Exactly. Again, when you're um, programming your own sounds, you can mm -hmm. either bring the effects loop in or out. Yep. So if you've got a bunch of pedals that you just leave on in the background, mm -hmm. you can bring them in for certain sounds if you need them, and then just have them not. Yeah. In your preset at all, and you hear nothing. It's bypassed. Yeah. Okay, um, last thing that I want to mention, and you should check out um, Hughes and Kettner's uh, channel because we're going to go more in depth with that, but there is um, there's an app on uh, iPad right now. Is it only iPad? Is it iPhone too? It's iPad only. Okay, so you, you need to get an iPad? <laughs> you don't <Yes>. have to. <laughs> you don't have to. It, it's really a bonus feature. Yeah. And I, I do want to stress that it doesn't do anything mm -hmm. that you can't do with the app in a decent foot switch. Yeah. Um, well, there is one little thing you can do, and that's you can control the exact amount of milliseconds on your delay, something okay. like that. And it does offer you kind of all of the controls on one screen. So it's pretty convenient. Yep. Mm -hmm. We've got a little wireless dongle as well that you can get okay. for it, so you can just run it without wires. Let's say you're, uh, you're on a big stage, and you've got your amp at the back, and you kind of want, around, want mm -hmm. to wander around and just dial the sounds in from away from the amp. You can do that, no problem. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I can totally see this Yeah, on stage, and you, you want to hear the amp from the audience perspective. And you can do that with yeah. this. Um, so basically what we see here on the screen is what, what this is. Yeah, you've got the two rows of controls <laughs> exactly. The, and the ones which are in the second function are up here. And mm -hmm. the traditional EQ stuff is down here. Yep. Exactly, yeah. Everything just on one screen. So in that sense, it's, it's pretty helpful. Yeah. yeah. So I think what uh, the plan is, we're actually going to run through this on um, Hughes and Kettner's uh, channel. We'll create a preset using the app. Exactly, yeah. And the app see how it works, so check that out, you should. And uh, thank you so much, this is really fun. Yeah, really it too, yeah. Exciting uh, to, to play this, and you should check them out. So the Grandmeister Deluxe 40. Check out their channel, subscribe to mine. Thank you so much, I'll see you guys very soon. See you next time. Cheers.